would say it goes back to being interested. Any of the things where we've made connections, like as a company, or I've made connections with vendors or designers or anything like that, is because I wanted to go. I wasn't necessarily going to make a connection or to network that is not interesting to me. <laughs> um, I. I guess when it comes down to it, it's like true creative. Like I'm really psyched to go to ICFF or come to IDS West and see new things and make new connections. And who knows what's going to happen with that stuff? Um, you know, you, you just you just don't know. And if you're thinking too hard about it, like it's it's just not right. You know. Um, so I would say just continually being interested. Um, you know, showing your true work. Um, I could speak to the collaboration that we did with uh, Studio Four in New York City, which is um, a showroom for textiles and wallpaper and rugs, and we did a wallpaper collection. Um, I was, I've always been interested in the showroom. I would visit it every time I went to New York. Um, we weren't placing massive orders with the showroom or anything like that, but I was making connections, and I was really interested in what they were doing. And then one day I got a cold call from them saying, we like what you're doing, would you design a wallpaper collection with us? That, you know, it's just like, Put in the groundwork. Yeah, putting the groundwork. Hook. I didn't ask to do that. Uh, maybe I should ask more. I, you know, um, maybe I'm not asking enough, or I'm not doing enough. I, I just do what feels comfortable. Um, sometimes what's not comfortable too. You know, that can also be interesting as well. So that's that's really what we've done. It's just the, the things that we have done are things that I would have done anyway. Um, you know, if I didn't have a business, I would have wanted to see beautiful things. I would have wanted to go to galleries. Maybe it wasn't ICFF, but it was seeing creativity, wherever it is. So. Gary, um, that's a perfect example. I think just if you have the opportunity to go to the industry kind of conferences or whatever they may be, and going up to someone. We were just in New York last week, and you just you kind of have to just walk up to someone if there's a particular event where you can meet the president of a big vendor and you can introduce yourself and say, hi, my name's Carrie Hayden. I just opened a design firm in Seattle and um, I love your product. I know your head designer, Thor, and he's great and my sales rep's great. I just wanted to let you know we're big fans. And he actually just looked at me and said, oh, I follow you on Instagram. And I'm like, oh. It worked, you know? Humility like, always. Yeah, it's like, and I kind of just stood there with my mouth open going, oh, okay, great. And I'm like, Jenny, Jenny? Like, you know, my marketing director, she's just like, see? I'm like, okay, so yes, it does work. And um, he's like, oh, when you come to High Point, come and see me. So you never know an opportunity. And then I'll come back to High Point and I'll see him again. And so you develop those relationships. We found a great uh, street artist in New York who's going really big right now and introduced myself to him and sent him a follow-up email and said, I'd love to feature you in Seattle. It's all the things that Brian said. It's the only way to connect with people, I think, and to get your name out there. But all the things that you guys are talking about are all really authentic. So you're really being true and authentic to you know, what is important and inspirational to you, which I think is what you have to stick to. Find things that you align well with. Find things that um, are co complementary to you, and just be really open and not closed, and not feel like you're, you know, shut off in any way. Do you feel like there was a project or something you did that was kind of a turning point? Like, oh, okay, we're going for it. We're in this. Yeah, I think that there's some real kind of key moments. I mean, sort of like you're talking about those sort of happenstance moments that, you know, you, you never know what these kind of big, um, you know, jump off points are going to be. I got, um, you know, I got invited to a birthday party, uh, you know, for a friend in New York, not even really having any idea what I was going to be doing. And the next thing I knew, I was rolling around in a gold convertible Bentley with Jamie Drake, who is an international yeah. de designer. And, uh, you know, this is just, you know, those moments where you're like, am I on the moon? Is this real? Um, and and it, it was so inspiring to me to, to rec honestly, to recognize the kind of wealth that could come from interior design. Uh, I don't think that's possible in Vancouver, but it was a real eye-opener. And so it's just uh, those moments um, that you can have out of nowhere that can have these really, um, it, you know, impactful moments for you. Jen, you designed our beautiful stage, so you have some experience getting out there and, and making it, you've made connections with people uh, and done stuff, so what are some of 
those those things that have really made moved the needle? I I think for me it, it almost happened and then then you realize after the fact because when you first start out you're like just work just work and get paid you know ideally have a job when you're self-employed that's you know you're like okay like just have a job and have a job next month that's a good idea let's let's focus on that and then all of a sudden gray magazine calls you and asks you to design a space for them and then you, then you do that and then they call you again the next year and you do that again and then you're you're no longer worried about being employed the next month or the next month. It's like, how do I say no to these people or how do you balance all the workload? And it's it's after that that you're looking back. It's almost like you're, you're the thick of it. You don't quite realize that it's all coming together and things are happening until you have a moment to look back and go, oh, okay, it's working, <laughs> it's working. Great. But it's all, I mean, a lot of, we talk a lot about human interaction and being authentic and I, I will be totally forthright that I am not a super social person. I am not at every design event. I'm not the person that's up in front of people being like, oh, this is who I am, hey, hi. Um, it, that, I struggle with that a lot. It's not, it's not my first go-to move. Um, but, which I mean, maybe had I been more aggressive in that and had I tried harder at it, could I be doing more things at this point in my career? I, I'm not sure, maybe. Um, but for me, it's been a really organic progression of when you do meet somebody, always being open-hearted to whatever that might become. It may become nothing but a great conversation or a new friend, or it might become a collaboration, or it might become the next step in your career. I've talked a lot with people about a T scale, and the first part of your career, and you guys will know this, it's like, you're just kind of trying to get up the ladder, just up this T. And then it kind of, you get to this point that all of these things that you've been learning and holding on to and resonating with and putting in your pocket, then they start opening up totally different doors that you weren't even expecting, that you didn't even realize that you had the skill set for, which has now, I'm at, my, I'm at the point in my career that those doors are just starting, which is just starting. I mean, I'm have only been in the industry for 10 years, so it's like you're just kind of starting to get to that top of the T where these other things are, these other ideas are happening and you're starting to realize what you've been gaining over the last little while.